welcome back to my YouTube, y'all. I sound like a legit YouTuber. <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm back with another video, back with my uneven wig. And today I'm going to do a story time. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. Oh my gosh, just fly. I left my window open and now there's like flies everywhere in here. I've been trying to freaking get them this whole entire time. Today's story time is going to be about how this guy that I was talking to fought me. Let's just start, okay? I'm not going to say how I met him because it's kind of embarrassing. So we're just going to skip over that part. We were talking for a good, in total it was a good six or seven months. Like, it was a... It wasn't that long, like that's not really long to me, but it was a good little chunk of a minute, okay, that I spent my time with him. Especially because since we hung out a lot and we did talk a lot, like we were basically dating, but we never said that we were boy or um girlfriend or boyfriend. We just we just knew what it was. I was this was like in twenty nineteen. So yeah, I was nineteen and then I and he was twenty. Yeah okay yes we talked every day like it wasn't no funny business like he was he was being real faithful to me and i was being faithful to him because i wasn't talking to anybody and i didn't care to talk to anybody so yeah i was just talking to him and, like we were really cool i used to hang out go to his house and he shared a room with his brother i mean it was what it was like his brother was cool too so i guess we were just all hanging out in the room together to be honest ain't no funny business happened though no ma'am but yes he shared room with his brother and we would hang out in his room his mom was super nice like i really liked his mom his, his mom was really nice she really accepted me um there was no problems really we really didn't have that many problems like we were really cool but i would go to his house we would just like watch movies and smoke or whatever i used to smoke but i don't want really to smoke no more child yes and i used to spoil him okay because he, he wasn't working at the time okay he was a scammer red flag a scammer with no money but it was and buy him um some food i used to order pizza and all of us used to eat the pizza uh we used to go to chick-fil-a go to mcdonald's like oh i was usually the one that was buying stuff but when he did get some money he did buy me stuff too so i'm not even gonna act like he didn't get, do nothing for me but like he would always tell me how appreciative he was of me because you know i oh my gosh get out of my camera he would always used to tell me how appreciative he was of me because i didn't look down on him when he was um he didn't have no money or anything and you know i wasn't like the other girls you know basically calling him broke but i knew the situation he was in so i didn't really bother to you know i don't i'm really not like that you know if if i'm cool with you then i'm cool with you if you don't got no money as long as you're working on getting some money it's not really an issue period back then i was working at a security job place i know me little old me at a security place yes and it wasn't really like the security y'all thinking it is with the big guys like you know doing some big boy things that's not what it was i literally was just sitting down in a clubhouse all day watching cameras and opening the gates for cars to come in and side note that job was mad annoying even though it was easy it was mad annoying like for cars coming through to the clubhouse have to ask for their name and then look on the computer or ask for their name and ask where they're going look in the computer and see if they are like a permanent guest or something and if they're not you got to call the people's house and ask if they can come in like it was a whole lot a whole lot of and then sometimes the people that are waiting be like oh you don't have to call them they know me but i'm like okay well i have to look on the uh i have to look on the computer because you know that's kind of my job i don't know what you can do i don't know if you're gonna go in there and murder them okay just because you tell me you know them sometimes they'll be catching an attitude with me it's like okay do you want me to lose my job sir like i have to do this that job was mad annoying but it was easy because all you're literally doing is just sitting down i used to watch netflix all day or i would be on the phone with him i basically put him on to the job so he eventually started working there too not where like not at the same time i was working but like he got the job too so me and him were both working there so whenever he was working he would call me and be on the phone with me or you know texting me the whole time you know it was really cool like we had a really cool type of relationship type team i'm not sure how like I don't know the chronological order of how everything went down, but it's just certain things that I remember that happened. 
So, I am the only one that had the car in the relationship. He didn't have no car, okay? So, I was the one that was driving. One day, he had the nerve to ask me. Can I use your car while you at work? Um, I was like, okay, I may be doing stuff for you, like I may have a heart to do things for you and buy you stuff, but your foot is not going on my pedal while I'm at work. Period. I'm so sorry about it. So I was like, I'm sorry, run that by me again? You want me to let you use my car while I'm at work? Sir. No, this is not the hood love story that you think it is. I'm not letting you borrow my car while I'm at work. Are you crazy? Like, it's the audacity for me. So I basically told him, like, no, you're not going to use my car while I'm at work. I'm so sorry about it. And he wanted to catch an attitude with me. Like, I'm supposed to let you use my car. Like, uh, the audacity. If men don't have one thing, they'll have the audacity. Okay. Um... I really don't know what happened after that. I don't know if we stopped talking for a little bit or it was just like a little petty argument or something. But eventually we got cool again. So this is where the problem lies. So it was one day that I was at his house. I need to find a way to kill these bugs. Because I'm really about to have an aneurysm. Okay, like I was saying. We were just chilling, bacon back being bull. He was in the kitchen and like he was eating something. He he was standing there with the bowl and he was eating something. And then I goes in the kitchen and I'm just being nosy. I'm just looking in the cabinets. Don't ask me why I was looking in the cabinets. Was I wrong? Probably I was wrong. But I was just being nosy, just looking in the cabinets. And he got mad. He was like, "Stop looking in the cabinets. Like, stop opening the doors and stop doing this and stop doing that." And I was like, "Okay, like, mind you, I probably shouldn't have no business doing that, anyways." But. In the process of us like like a bickering back and forth about it he ends up dropping his food his bowl of food on the floor and it was like some pasta type stuff so it was like bread he ends up dropping it on the floor y'all so tell me why he goes you need to pick this mess up you need to pick this mess up So here me going, I'm just thinking like it's like a playful type of thing. I'm like, I'm not picking nothing up. I'm not picking nothing up. You pick it up. That was your food. And so after that, we literally are going back and forth about who finna pick up this mess. For a good, I want to say, 30 minutes, we're going back and forth just arguing about it. Oh, yeah. So it really did escalate after that. Really is getting super mad right now about this spilled food. And I was like, all right, all right, fine, fine. I'll clean it up but you have to help me and he still wouldn't do that I was like whoa this was not even my food anyways this was your food you the one that dropped it so technically you need to pick it up so I was like we can pick it up together and he was like no you don't pick up this food you don't do this and you don't do that and me this whole time this might be like a toxic trait of mine, but I'm just sitting there laughing because I just think it's so funny. Like, whenever we my, like, partner are arguing, whoever partner I'm with, like, I just be laughing whenever they we arguing. Like, I don't know, like, it's not like I think it's funny, but, like, I think it's funny. Like, but I'm pretty sure that's what made him even more mad because I'm sitting here laughing while he's being, like, like, dead serious. Then he goes to pushing. He pushed me, okay? And I was like, oh, no, it's not what we're doing. So as soon as he pushed me, I'm going to push you back. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's never that It's never that serious. So we were pushing, shutting each other, you know. We really getting into it. And then, you know, I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm going to go home. He takes my phone. Oh! Somebody! So now I'm arguing with him. Give me my phone back. Give me my phone back. Give me my phone back. And he's sitting there yelling and yelling and yelling, y'all. Okay, and then I was starting to get real mad. I was like, for real, for real, like, you being childish. Give me my phone so I can leave. I don't want to deal with this. Like, it's this is really stupid. So he would not give me my phone. All right. And we still push in or whatever. When I try to snatch my phone back or I'm trying to get my phone from him, he keeps pushing me. So I goes, um... No, what happened? Because I was at the door whenever he took my phone. So the door was already kind of open. So we're pushing each other, pushing each other. He and we end up pushing each other outside, wrestling each other outside. He got me into the, he pushed me into the grass. He gets on top of me in the grass, y'all. Wrestling. Get him some 
and me trying to get my phone and i was like get off of me get off of me blah, blah, blah. and then his stepdad comes out he's like what is going on and then i was like tell him to get my phone tell him to give me my phone so his dad his stepdad he gets in between us you know he he's trying to like um uh, defuse the situation and make him give me my phone he was still not giving my phone even though his stepdad literally told him give the girl her phone back he would not give me my phone y'all and i was like this is so dumb this is so dumb so i'm just standing there like and then he ends up throwing my phone he literally threw my phone i was like i'm so done it was this phone too my old iphone 8 plus he ends up throwing it y'all I was like, there's no way you're this mad. Picked my phone off the ground. Got in my car that she wanted to drive that one day, remember? I got in my car and then I skirted off and I went home. This is how I'm stupid. So, like, I want to say like a month later, he hits me up. Basically apologizing. You already know how they do. Basically apologizing to me. And then he wants to talk to me. He wants to see me and this, that, and the third what I say how did I respond to that yeah you can come see me I don't care I told him he could come see me after all that I should have cut him off after all that but no I didn't because I'm stupid so he comes and sees me child now remember I told you he didn't have a car Tell me why this man pulls up in a U-Haul. No, I didn't say nothing. I was just like... <sighs> I like the creativity. I guess I like the creativity of that you don't got a car you got to go okay I can see why you did that but anyways I was like this is ghetto uh, so ghetto but I went in the U-Haul and we chilled in the U-Haul y'all um basic conversations chilling and then after that we fell out again I don't even know why but after that I didn't really care to be honest but I want to say last year he had hit me up again on Instagram basically trying to talk to me again and I was just like you know what go away it's, like, it's not happening it's not happening I'm sorry I'm done tired <sighs> so yes that was the story of the man's basically fought me outside y'all If you like the story, make sure to thumb me. If you didn't like the story, make sure to thumb me and leave a comment and subscribe.